What up guys, it's the boy Sir Trevor, welcome back to my YouTube channel And today, it is GBP USD Price Action Technical Analysis So, last time, I did share my analysis and I told you that price on GBP USD will reach the level 1.25000 Okay, that level, I said when it when it's gonna when when price hits that level we will get a head and shoulder and it came out as expected but the only thing we did not get is like much of a sale but if you anticipated my setup you could have made money so i managed to turn my 300 to 700 and uh, I'm sharing with you now the screenshots and the screenshots of the setup. So I'm sharing the profits and the setup. Enjoy. Alright, so today we're going to do the same thing, sharing with you a potential setup for this week on what to focus on. And if it plays out, make sure that you manage to anticipate and you will make money if it plays out the way we expect. So we are on the monthly time frame. Okay, we can see that we've been... In a bearish for quite some time always uh, okay gives me a problem okay all right so we're gonna copy here paste this so we, we we're still in a downtrend and GBPUSD keeps on buying and buying and buying. So we'll see what we do this week. So maybe we get a pullback, we buy again. We'll see, we'll see. So we have this channel over here. We copy. We done. We copy again, we flip it, and draw the previous uh, resistance here. So price is, is approaching our resistance level. So don't be shocked if price comes to this level. Okay, and on this level, uh, I believe... There is a psychological level which is 26,000 here. If that level taps in, yeah, this one. If that level taps in, we might get a heat sell, but let's continue. Let's continue analyzing. Give you an idea. So, you guys should know what are psychological levels. I promised to make a video, yes, during the week, I hope to make it. But I also have to do part two for the full free price action course, right? Yes, guys, and for the footprint traders, I already shared the analysis for some different pairs. I think it's about five pairs. So go check it out. Go check the video out. It's already out. The previous video before this one. I posted yesterday. Okay. So we jump to daily time frame. We're going to adjust. Uh, okay. All right. Let's 
so now we believe that there's been a downtrend before that by over here and I can also conclude that there was a level of resistance which is now a support and I'm talking about this one here so we should round off to 24,000 I think yeah 24,000 zeros here and let's see where it is perfect so the psychological level is very powerful so now i can see why it's buying it's because okay let's drop to a lower time frame on four hour wow oh wow well, I think I have an idea what's going to happen soon because there's a half psychological level 24.5, right? 24.5 wait, 24 here, 24.5 mm, yeah Yeah, and then we have okay I'm, I'm gonna draw my my levels before I can continue with the chart patterns so so you just add your levels to around the areas where you're about to trade right Okay. Twenty-five five. All right. Now we can see where price is. But I, I, I know that price respect mostly the 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 round numbers more than halves. So for those who do not understand my terminology, I'm talking about thousands the zero zeros like this twenty four thousand will be respected more than twenty four point five thousand all right so yes the point fives are not mostly respected but they are so wh what do i mean the 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 the, the round numbers are mostly for reversals most of the times so these other ones they are for like break and retest continuation i hope you get what i mean but yeah but the market can turn either way on the levels but most of the times uh the round numbers are more respected so i don't know yet what to look for this week because I cannot trade something that is not familiar to me, okay? But I'll try to look for a pattern. I can, I can see a pattern. I hope it should be like a reversal pattern. But I will see... I'm seeing one, two, three. Okay. There are so many patterns in the market, so some of them we also forget them. That's why I focus on few. Okay. All right. Now. Uh, let me jump to daily and see something. All right, all right. Okay. Level 26,000. Level 26,000. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm hoping that the market can come up to this level. Level 26,000, right? All right. For it to reverse, just tap there and reverse. Now, the problem is I'm not able... Let me switch. I'm not going to see it until the market goes up further. And this is boring. I think this will make me to start analyzing on trading view from now on because I cannot see my levels. I'm talking about this level here. The market, when the week starts, like tomorrow, it should come up to this level, begin to reverse. Okay, if not, the market. Okay, I can switch like this. All right. But still, hey. On daily, what are we seeing? Okay, the markets. This level will be... It's too far. Guys, do you think that the market will come up here? Okay, I don't know. Let me look for a pattern. Okay. Let's trade what we see. We can't predict what's going to happen. But we can trade with what we see. So I'm seeing this pattern here. I think this might be a continuation pattern. <laughs> oh, this is too far. This is too far. I think this is a buy. I think we're going to continue buying, but the question is where? This type of pattern is a continuation. I'm familiar with this. Right, let's see. All right. Okay. I have an idea what to do. I don't know what to do yet, but I have an idea. I'm not confident to trade as yet. That's why I take time when I'm trading. Okay, guys, if we want to buy, let's buy somewhere here. Okay, that's all I can say. Because thinking of buys right now, it's crazy. Okay, so the level... I'm expecting like price to come back before it goes to the upside if it wants to like continue buying. So I'm thinking maybe this level here or uh, this level somewhere there. One of those two levels we can look for buys. Yeah, that's what I think. Okay, let me not confuse you. Let me add another one. I mean this here, okay? Oh, you copy. I forgot. Copy. Yeah. Yeah. So the buys, okay? All you have to do is to wait for, don't sell, don't sell, believing that it will drop, okay? You'll be disappointed it will continue buying if it does not come back to these levels. So I'm thinking that the market is going to come back to this level over here. Okay. And 
if it doesn't it will come back to this level over here but make sure that when it touches the levels it also touches this trend line because it builds confluence right so if it doesn't even touch this trend line it 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 doesn't give us a reason to buy because there's no confluence. Yeah, that's my idea so far, guys. Go and draw on your charts this setup. And if it plays out, good luck. And also good luck to my account. Oh, this time from 700. So on 300 Rand, I used 0 0.03. So I'm on 700. I'm going to use 0 0.06. So um 50 pips okay let me go to my calculator just hold on guys all right guys this is my calculator so last time i caught how many pips okay i caught let me see 500 times 0 comma 0 3 uh should be i caught more wow okay 600 pips Zero three because I made 350 rands on top of my 350 rands. So my profit. Wow. Mm. Somewhere around there. So I made more. So which means I'm gonna make double of this. So my account will be on 1.3. Wow, that's great. But I hope I make more. All right. All right, guys. So you can go now after watching my video and analyze the way I did. And if you don't understand the round numbers, just copy these ones. Okay, the, the ones that are here. I know some of you you don't trade GBPUSD, but you want to trade like this. Okay, just take your numbers from thousands, half of a thousand, another thousand, half of a thousand, like that. Okay, guys. But I, I know you guys you understand these numbers. Unless if I don't know, I don't know if you don't, so comment. Okay, yeah. My name is Trevor, signing out.